this system. My husband bought me thanks for Christmas quite a few years back. This is meant for kind of barbecue, not barbecue, uh, cooking on the fire. Which is, thank you, which is the perfect size for hanging um, heat lamp above the chickens. It has three legs and then it has this kind of like a ring with slanted holes where you screw it in and it holds it in an um, angle. And then it goes here in the corner, if you can see it at all. You stand it like this in the corner and hang the lamp on it. Oh, and it's on. We got the box. Sometimes things happen beyond your control As if they have a life of their own The choices you make, what appears to be right Seems you just have no say As if you're a witness to your own mistakes It's easy to play along after you see what the choices came to be Like a storm that's passed on Oh, the brain down the drain Oh, the fuse, the abuse Oh, please, storm fell trees Oh, the fight over who's right Trying to remember all the that went down I don't know what your intention was Like trying to memorize the Bible Backwards to the star And reciting it from the heart Upside down Oh please On your knees Amen What you defend I am right Therefore I fight you're wrong, this fight is lifelong See the water flowing on the bridges I, my friend, has come to nature We're gonna kill some of the pigs, well, one of the pigs if you didn't hear me, um, what if I didn't say, we're gonna kill one of the pigs as the one that doesn't have kids because I guess it's mostly that, sure, you could say, oh, you can, she could get pregnant again. But we're probably not going to do that, and we could just turn her into meat and food, and it takes probably just gonna have take more money or something to keep her here or something like that, so we're just gonna. Ty prsa, zajímavý. Jak se jí to všechno zatáhlo. Půl a chtěl, ať se jirají nejí, ale to až bude vyset. A teď jdeme všichni domů práci. V konvík je voda, jasně, na ruce. Záky teď mu. Jako je třeba něco, co bych si myslel, že je mnohem důležitější pro prochod farmy, než elektrický auto. Brazák? Look at that. What we've got of the skin, there will be more of the meat. But this is going to be the like lard, was it? Or? Yeah. Take them to move it. Okay. Well, uh, putting up this fence so we can let the pigs out, go through. We're not letting them out now, we're going to wait until Dad comes and see he went somewhere. And we're just going to hope that 
you can make proper holes because there's a lot of rocks and if you can't tell not really put in properly but we have to fix some of these poles so I think this one will go rather to the bottom and I have this mechanism I will put on instead so this will go to the bottom Unfortunately, some parts have developed some holes here, as you can see, so I have to fix it with my trusty needle and thread. That's how we fix fences. So we are going to let the piggies out. Um, so I wonder what they will say. No, tak počkej chvilku na mě. One brave one. This is our baby chicks, but we have a problem. This is a fourth chicken that is dying on me. Absolutely no idea why. It never happened before. Never happened before, and I got chickens from this uh, same company. This is third year. Last year I had 40 and none of them died. And this is fourth chicken. So I think I will have to write to them and say, look, I don't know if it's me, but I had chickens before and even from them, never had a problem. And this year it's no good. 
I put the beak in the drink. I shoved some food in his or her's mouth. We'll see if it helps, but I doubt it. So, this is sad. And of course expensive as well. To just four chickens out of 20 is, you know, quite a lot, I would say. Good morning. So, you looked at the baby chicks. I show you. Not looking good, but hopefully, hopefully it will stop. I don't know. I don't know why. What's happening, really? Uh, I would say it's everything the same what I did last year and the year before. So I don't know. But we'll feed the piggies, let them out. I think they will come to eat with their mama and um, and go to the sheep and lambs. I will show you how is everybody doing. of a foot of uh, hay and straw and manure <laughs> can lift it and so we have to get out hi um today's been a little bit crazy day you are uh, moving the sheep and first the battery died in the camera then they were playing up and then the memory card was full so i couldn't film you know it was horrible running up and down from the back garden so we gave up um so i let the batteries charged hopefully it will work for a while um and um planting some seeds squashes and courgettes um can't find some seeds i know i had um but i found different ones so yeah i had um i was given those those um sweet meat oregon i believe they're called uh, but i found another 
it's uh, like Hokkaido so I will try that it's new seeds I bought this tree I keep buying seeds and I'm thinking oh when my garden is established I will plant them and and then years go by and I found out that they are old even though I uh, plant old seeds as well usually without any problem but yeah so uh, these shouldn't be that old well they said uh, to have them planted last year but I think it will be fine uh, it's called I don't know it says it's a uh, it's a large, but Hokkaido, so I don't know. It's not large. Right, so I do write it down, red curry. So I have here uh, quite a few because I like the fact that they are, you can store them um, if they are cured properly. As I didn't cure them properly last year. So they start to go bad, but animals still like them. So I have two rows of courgettes, one yellow and one green. Uh, uh, cucumbers. And then I have one, two, three, four, five different types of uh, squashes, winter squashes. Um, I am really looking forward to them. This is, uh, I call them small round. They are like the gem squashes. Um, I saved the seeds years and years back from when I was buying um, vegetable boxes and we really liked them and that looks like a, this big, like a small and we like to stuff them in mince meat um, and roast it. But the seeds were, I never really uh, Save the seeds, like I save the seeds, but I it, they were sort of open, pot, not open potted. I didn't. Was it what it's called? I didn't do the hand pollinating. I just left them, so uh, they are not as small and green as they used to be. But still, we'll see. I have butternut squash. I have uh, this. Uh, they're called like oily, but you can. They have seeds that they, they don't have shells, the seeds, so you can eat the seeds without shelling. That's the, the seeds. If you buy um, pumpkin seeds, that's what they have. I had them a couple of years back and it was good. It was, I suppose I would have to have like a big field of them, but it was fun. Um, then I have Sibley. It's a cold Sibley. Um, and it's I bought them in England from the Real Seed Company, um, and I really like them. They last long. I saved seeds, and they lasted what my note says till May. Okay, so it's really good for storage. And then uh, that red Hokkaido, I just did, and I have one more row. And I think I might put some flowers in there because it's never enough of flowers. Um, but I'm not sure at the same time because I will have to take these obviously indoors, being it squashes. And all my flowers, what I have here, can be outside already. Mm. So I'll have to think about it. Oh, and I wanted to show you, I thought we will have some. Uh, I thought we will have kohlrabi, but I think it's going into flour. You see, so um, we will eat the leaves and leave the flowers for bees. It's a shame, but interesting experiment. They have lots and lots of foliage, so it will be all right. Yeah, so. Um, that's a little update on my plants. Um, none of my onions that I tried twice from seed, none of them germinated. None of them grew, so I don't know. 
what I've done wrong but that's how it is so luckily I bought some sets so I will put onion sets in the ground soon I have so much to do and I have to say all your comments are very lovely and thank you for watching the videos and thank you for the kind comments uh, but I am not as hardworking as you all think and as what you, what you see it's yes I do things obviously we all do things but um, I spend lots of time on um, Facebook unfortunately um, or yeah mainly I waste lots of time I you know and I like having coffee um, so I will just sit down and have coffee and that's not very productive um, yeah so I do waste lots of time it would be lovely I really would like to get the strength somehow to get up in the morning early in the morning and and really do things start working I would like to be able to have my land as my job you know like when you go to job you have to get up and you go and do it but I just don't as well because in the evening very often either I watch some oh, sorry I have trapped nerve and it's it's playing up um, either I watch some movie with Ozzy or I listen to some YouTube talk and and I do some spinning and I finish by midnight sometimes earlier but I can't get up at seven o'clock in the morning I just somehow can't um, yeah so it's ongoing struggle for me when I don't have that whip uh, above me you know like if you go to, to work you have to be there you know it's uh, the promise to other people I can't get myself to get up in the morning and I spend lots of time thinking uh, and then researching all sorts of things like patterns for knitting you know when I get new idea for what I can make then I spend hours researching and finding out which one I like I think I told you before Carolina brought me like what year last year or something beautiful wool from England uh, unfortunately it's only three balls so it's not a lot uh, and I want to make myself scarf and I rarely make something for myself um, but I wanted to make myself scarf so I was searching for pattern for scarf I want um, scarf that it's triangular but it's not like even it's uh, there is another word for it asymmetrical okay and everything I saw beautiful beautiful like I would need like double the amount I have or maybe even more um, so it took me hours to find what I what I like pattern I, I am happy with the, the right amount of wool the right uh, thickness um, yeah so that's what I spend lots of time on researching <laughs> saying that I am not as uh, hard-working as you think and as I wish I was the rabbits are getting crazy and even the it's not all actually <laughs> even the everyday stuff the cooking washing up looking after animals you know paying attention to my children it takes time and sometimes I wish I was two like not two years old but two of me so I could split myself between the home and the outdoors that would be lovely to be able to do that and thank you for your answer to my question about if you support your children um, my father supports me still He's, he gives me a lot of sort of jams and, and pickled gherkins and um, honey and things like that um, but it was more for me like because I always saw this land and this house this place the idea was to create kind of like a place for my children to inherit and not just the as a not as a wealth but as a place as kind of safe place to 
to be, to have their families, to grow food, you know, um, like a heritage, you know. I don't have any better word. And even though I know I, I left home and then I came back and then I left and never came back, but the home changed as well. So, but when the children leave now or are leaving, I don't know how to incorporate the looking after them to growing food for them because it's not because of the money, the food. It's for me, it's for them to have good quality food. It might sound strange, but I want both of them, especially well, Alfred and Carolina who left, to be in the best condition when the time comes and they will have children. Um, not just mentally, but especially physically. Yeah, so, so, um, so they can, they can be healthy. And um, Carolina will buy herself good quality stuff, you know, organic if she can and go to the market and buy things like that. Um, Alfred is not that much looking for the, the better quality. You know, he's very happy to get stuff from me, but when he goes shopping, he will buy food. It's not, um, I'm, I'm absolutely amazed how he is cooking, you know, for himself. There is no like pot noodles or anything like that. Um, but I want to provide them with good quality food. Um, but because they are not here, like let's say Carolina, she's not very big gardener, but then she will preserve the food, she will cook, okay? She will do this part of the eating and, and food making and growing. Uh, but if if they are not here, obviously it's lot, lots of food to grow for me and Ozzy to to do so it's like how how to go about it you know I suppose what I can do I will do what I can do but I would like to have huge garden beautiful garden with lots of flowers in there and lots of vegetables and all just luscious green and and successfully grown and have lots of cabbages and make sauerkraut and these things. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> Number one, I'm not very good at growing cabbages. Um, number two, where do I squeeze the sauerkraut making? I know it's not difficult. I know it's just, you know, one afternoon you need to spend lots of time. I have even the kind of the big pot squeeze quite a bit in it, but yeah, time management. I think that's that's what it is. Time management, something to learn, and also the fact that yes, I can probably do everything. Like not to to. I don't do everything, okay. But it's still in my kind of dreams. My plans is still like you know I would like to do everything I want to do everything and be just perfect okay and then it gets overwhelming and and then paralyzing and and then nothing gets done so well a little rant sorry <laughs> okay bye for now Hey, Mom, you open your eyes. I wanted to take that off. It was meant so, to be like that. Okay, yeah. Go.
I think I have a lot of bad <laughs> My bread. You did cut bread quite thick slices. <laughs> did you move it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Uh, I should have put the lid on. You are evil. <laughs> hey, this is what you kind of did to me a tiny bit. No, I didn't. Hey, you took the wall away and made me look like an idiot. What? Laughing at your blind mother. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't. You just took like a tiny little blob. I don't know. It's sometimes hard. I'm happy. <laughs> uh, you still got a bit, Mum. You still have a bit to go. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's okay. It's plenty of something. <laughs> Bread. Okay, you wanna open your eyes and what eat? <laughs> you wanna try and... Uh, what are you trying to get now? My drink. You put it all the way to the side. Yeah. Butter. What do you mean? Mm. I wasn't maybe any popular. You want to open your eyes though and try to see what you're eating? That's alright. We should do this again. Now you. Me? Mm -hmm. I'll close my eyes and you just put everything random and I have to make what? Yeah, clear. Okay. No, no, look. You can start. How's it going? All right. I don't know what are you doing? Trying to find the uh, bobbin lad. Don't know if I already touched it or not. So it might not even be bothered like that for all I know. You could have just put in some strange stuff you found that it was expired. I think you need a little bit more. A little bit more? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why did I not take it off? Thank you. 
read. I'm an elderly person who is blind. Why is this on the floor? Where did this come from? Oh, is this the one that disappeared? I don't think I need more. Going to have a look. Mm. What you created? <laughs> what is this? What is this? No, take it in a mother. Why is this <coughs> on the floor? On the plate. Yeah. Luckily, not on the floor. But why is it not here? I thought I put everything on it. I was literally going, uh, 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 uh. Was mm. I not? What was I doing? That's what was you was doing, but not what the prophet lad did. <laughs> compost and plant onions. That's the plan. Are you fit to see cold? 
Yeah, the other... Pojď. Jaký klasík doma? Jo, to mě nevadí. Klasíky, já jsem tam dávala. Klasíky, I think I will need help with this. Hi. It's a nice day. So, do you want to say what you're doing? <laughs> I was trying to explain it before. Uh -huh. um, yeah, we cleared it. The mm -hmm. boys brought um, compost Looks nice. and we planting onion. I, I onion. tried to grow onions from seeds, but mm -hmm. all right. no success at all. I'm happy with my garlic. Yeah, it looks good. That's it. That you can go and help him. Kids these days. No respect. You look, you look good though. You look beach ready, like ready for the beach, you know? Yeah, my feet feel like <laughs> very beach ready. Do you not have any sandals? Yes, I do, but I thought, well, I have thin socks and it will be okay, but yeah, hot. This would be a good thumbnail right here. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, got the hands on the glasses as well, you know? I just have crocs. But do you prefer having them on for like, I mean, I suppose if you're bending down for me, they'd fall off too much. I'm, cool. I'm okay with it. Yeah. It's more maybe for driving. When, yeah. I, when I was driving yeah. a few times, I was thinking, mm, it would be good to have yeah, yeah, any yeah. sunglasses here because sometimes it's just yeah, blinding. annoying. It's good cool job. boy. I don't really know what you even did. I just got here. You rolled up all the fence I have here. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. <laughs> Easier, this should like be the thumbnail. Oh, do that. Okay. What if I use my left? But if you use your left hand, well, I'm not going to use my left hand because my left hand's weaker, and I've got. Oh, that's actually a pretty good turn. In between. In between. Each. And start here. Yeah. Start where? Yeah. Okay. Because I want to keep that from no. Marigold. No. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah. Mom's gonna kill that cat. This can be someone's hobby, you know? Oh, okay. And second of all, if you home grow it, well, a proper one, not you can that well, get more of it in one go. It's effort, but you know. And y it's just. No. They are good. You must get out every single thing. They are good. I don't mind them. This will be the thumbnail, this will. I guess it just depends on where we'd be going and what we'd be doing because I feel like, let's go to Portugal, I'm like, what's there that I want to see? <laughs> because I can't think of anything, so you'd have to be like... Well, yeah, you've got to find all the stuff to do there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty good. How are you doing? Are you fat to the course? And... I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with it. I don't, I don't know. I do, I do. I feel like sometimes, I'm not very good at showing it. I feel like whenever I am in the video, I'm like in a mood and I'm just like, uh, and I'm like, I, I don't, I don't, oh, stop filming me. <laughs> so not that I've given up on the videos. I'm just, uh, are you recording? I am recording. Yeah. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I suppose I get tired. I suppose I don't really know. Bad timing. Um, and then living in the city, I'm surprisingly doing a lot better with it than I expected. I was actually quite stressed about it. I was worried that I was really gonna struggle with it, with the noise, because I am close to a road. Um, and you know, ambulances go by here and there. 
So I was worried about moving to the city, but it's actually like, I'm doing quite fine to be honest. I'm doing all right, you know? Uh, a lot of people were, I'm talking to the camera just so you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, so living in the city is fine. Uh, a few people were wondering how the cosmetic stuff was going. I've only, I went, there was like a first day where everyone was being introduced to each other, all the people that are going and the teacher and whatnot. And I've gone to two, two or three, I don't even remember now, classes. It's quite spread out from April till June. And in total, there are like maybe 30 cl classes. And I've been to three or two of them now. And next week I have two more and I finished the 5th of June, I think. But it's going all right. I mean, I just mainly struggle with uh, the language, to be honest. And I know absolutely nothing about cosmetics. So sometimes they'll be naming a bunch of products that they assume I should know, but I have absolutely no idea what they're going on about. Um, but for those who don't know why I'm going to be getting a cosmetic license is because I want to tattoo and in this country to get a tattoo license you have to have a cosmetic license because you need to know all of the you need to know about the skin you need to know um, I don't even have the words now basically you just you just need to know more about skin and infections and all sorts of stuff they just moved the sheep by the way so i'm just going to show you that hopefully the cameras yeah sheep have been moved <laughs> lovely so basically yeah living in the city is fine cosmetics that's going fine and i am still i'm, I'm still here I, I mean i i usually what happens is Mum and Ozzy do a bunch of filming for me, which I'm very thankful for, of course. And then I usually visit on the weekends, and um, I uh, I then take all the footage, and then I go back to where I live in the city, and I edit it all, and I publish it. Or, yeah. <laughs> and that means I'm not in the videos that often, because I'm only here on the weekends. Occasionally I'm in a video, or the most recent video, um... <laughs> Patrick was filming me and I was not in a good mood. <laughs> Don't ask why, I just wasn't in a good mood. And um, I didn't want to talk to the camera and some people thought that I didn't want to talk to the viewers and they were just like, oh my goodness, Karen doesn't want to talk to us anymore. And I was like, that's not, that's not what happened at all. I was just in a bad mood, really. Um, but anyways, um, I think that's all really I have to say. I don't think there's anything else to say. Mum was saying that I should sit down and talk to you guys. So that's what I'm trying to do. I understood, I agreed with her. I probably should talk to you guys, but now I'm thinking about, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm doing perfectly fine. I hope you guys are doing perfectly fine. Hopefully you've got nice weather. Today it's nice weather, but tomorrow apparently it's supposed to rain, which I'm really not looking forward to. I'm working in a cafe. Um, I work in the kitchen. I'm really enjoying that, but I do have to get up at like 5.50 in the morning, which I don't particularly enjoy. But otherwise, again, I just hope you guys are doing good and hopefully everything is going okay. And I hope you guys are getting some good food. But yeah, okay, tomorrow Patrick's coming over. Um, because he took me to a restaurant and we both had the same we had both ordered the same meal and it was heavenly it was so good and then we had the idea of trying to recreate the meal by ourselves so he's gonna we're gonna do that tomorrow and hopefully I'll remember to film that anyways hopefully I film that tomorrow hope you guys are doing well and hope you have nice weather and have a lovely dinner, lunch, breakfast, whatever the time of the day is for you. So yeah. Or maybe you're watching this after having dinner, so I don't know if you're gonna have like a after dinner snack. 
hope that's good. If you've already had an after dinner snack, then I hope you sleep well or good morning. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, okay, hope you're doing good. I think I've said everything. Well, you see, you started chopping like <laughs>